All right, Bob, thank you. Hurricane Michael has come and gone for Florida, but does the red tide remain here? Today, Moat Marine Lab officials say it's still too early to tell if we got enough rain and winds to break up that bloom. But this week, the conditions were still already steadily improving here. APC 7's Taylor Torregano is live on Longboat Key with an update on the status of our beaches. Taylor? Scott, look at this. No dead fish lining the coast, no bad fishy smell lingering in the air. We do still see that brown color in our waters, but the red tide conditions are a lot better than they have been the last several months. heavy winds and rain, the shorebirds return to a peaceful beach. I'm really happy that it's sunny today. I think we just missed the hurricane since it was at the more northern than where we are, so I'm happy that it looks like this. Good news for Jesse Dunginger and her family, who worried they'd have to cancel their first trip to the Sun Coast due to weather and red tide. I would like it to be a little more clear, but I think it looks nice for the fact that it was it had red tide a few weeks ago. Not to mention that just yesterday, this lined our beaches. Sea foam happens, you know, lots of wind and agitation um, and different particles and organic matter in the water can attach to, you know, the, uh, the bubbles that are forming and form that foam. Moat says it's formed during every major storm, but the foam from yesterday could also include those red tide toxins. There could be aerosolized toxins in the foam, um, so that's why they recommend definitely, you know, kids and dogs should not play with sea foam because um, there definitely could be a concentration of red tide toxin in the foam. Red tide that could still be in the water, but as of three days ago, was already retreating. So if you look on um, the red tide status report on FWC's site, you'll see our um, report from Monday. Um, we actually had background uh, low levels on the beaches this past week, but we do those samples on Monday, so we'll see next week if there's uh, been an increase or a, you know, see what kind of effect the hurricane might have had on the existing red tide bloom. Now, Moat says Michael could have had one of two effects. It could have either made it better or worse. Now, they won't know how many of those Carinia brevis cells remain in the water until their testing resumes on Monday. I'm reporting live on Longbow Key, Taylor Torgano, ABC7, your Suncoast News.